In the 13 years that we've been making hydras, we've noticed that hydras, just like a high-performance amplifier, are affected by vibration. We've invested a great deal of our infrastructure into coming up with a vibration isolation system that perfectly isolates both the internal and external parts of the chassis and also isolates the uh, Denali products from floorborne vibrations. Once we went with a vertical design, it gave us the opportunity to take complete control of the vibration issues. So instead of asking people to put the Denali on a dedicated amp stand, which would have been a very odd and custom shape, we created our own integrated isolation platform. The Denali uh, 6000T and 2000T have integrated isolation bases with massive stainless steel feet that obviate the need for you to have to have a, a base of any kind because it has its own base. Internally, uh, in all three units, uh, there are new technologies which consists of custom-designed isolation constrained layer dampening uh, that, that goes on either side of the unit inside each Denali product. The Denali chassis is actually made of aluminum, not steel. So we thought it would be interesting for you to be able to see what an undampened chassis panel sounds like from a Denali. Makes an excellent call to meditation. Here, you'll notice that we've applied our dampening panel to the inside panel of this. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, that was a good demonstration of tapping the panels and see how they ring and see how effective the vibration control panels are. Now what we'd like to show is how those panels were developed. We use an accelerometer in a lot of our tests for vibration testing. Uh, this PCB is an accelerometer. This is the probe that we're going to attach to the side of this Denali. You'll notice this Denali is not production. This is a pre-production unit where the panels have not been treated. So in the previous test you saw how we had the panels that didn't have any vibration dampening. That's what's installed in this unit. So what I'm going to do is tap the back of the unit and you're going to look at the oscilloscope and what I'd like you to watch for is how long it takes for the vibration to dissipate. So you'll notice that fairly strong vibration and you'll notice that the resonance continued for quite some time. Now what we'd like to do is replace this pre-production unit with a full production unit that has the vibration control panels installed on it. Okay, we've replaced the pre-production Denali with a full production Denali that has its vibration control panels installed on the chassis panels. I'm going to go ahead and put the accelerometer probe on the chassis. Now I'm going to reach around and wrap the back of the unit like we did on the other one. And again, I'd like you to pay attention to how long it takes for the initial impulse to dissipate. The Denali, with the application of anti-resonant technology that we've developed, has a profound effect on how that component responds to vibrational elements in the environment. Mm -hmm.